Remote closing is a skill that you can use to make $450 to $1,200 a day. And it's the exact same skill my friend Marcus is gonna use to successfully make his first $1,000 by the time this video ends. Or will he be successful? Watch to the end to find out. Dude, I see you're driving right now. You wanna just run inside real quick if you're at home? Yeah, if you, if you don't mind, yeah, that would be great. There are hundreds of thousands of online businesses that desperately, like desperately need salespeople. I mean, Jared here, he started out doing construction before finding out about this high income skill. How did Jared get hired though, you may ask? Well, Jared was competing against hundreds of other applications that were fighting for the exact same job that he was going after. In this specific job, many, many, many people were applying. Why? Because the actual job itself was super enticing. This job was an appointment setter job, okay? I've talked about closing in the previous uh, videos, but appointment setting is kind of the precursor to closing. $2,000 a month base pay, asking for a minimum of 100 appointments set per month. That might sound like a lot, but it's like actually below average. A 3% commission rate on a $10,000 product, meaning that you're getting 3% of anything that's being closed on that you personally set an appointment for. The company was closing at a 20% close rate, meaning on average 20 of those 100 people that you were setting an appointment with were gonna end up giving $10,000 over to the company. AKA, you'd be making a $6,000 commission with a $2,000 base. Yeah, that's pretty enticing. And keep in mind that $8,000 a month is an entry level position, okay? I don't know of any other entry level position out there in the world that's offering those kinds of numbers. I would just get hundreds of applications from people who were applying for this job. And typically, I'm only responding to like five of those people, maybe 10 of those people. 90% of them aren't even getting the opportunity to do an interview. I've nailed down three things that you can do to make sure your message gets to the very top, your application is taken seriously, and you're actually getting the interview with the business owner. Let's just paint a really clear picture with what exactly we're looking for. I'm not really into uh, like drop shipping. You know, I'm not very computer savvy and website savvy. And okay. The first thing you can do to make your application rise to the top is actually start the conversation first and just get them to reply. That is your only priority in this stage is getting the business owner to notice you and reply to you. And guys, even if you're getting a new phone, who dis, okay? Like it still works. You're still getting one foot in the door. Getting interest from women is weirdly similar to getting interest from businesses and prospects in sales. Just open the convo and try to get a response. I see so many guys that'll make custom loom videos or send voice messages cold to hundreds of people. Yeah, so this is the equivalent of essentially Tinder opening like 100 girls with the same line of like, yo, are you free tonight? Like that shit might work on like one person, but like you don't really wanna meet up with her anyways. Generic message, that's just a- I'm not trying to catch herpes. Send them a generic message that's just a simple question, something like, Hey, you're the owner of Coconut Creative, right? Hey, am I speaking with Ethan? Hey, this is Ethan, right? Just something super simple like that that takes five seconds. For them not to respond to that is just like, okay, like whatever, who cares? As soon as the owner does respond to that, and I found the open rates on that are so much higher, that's when you go ahead and take your time to create them a personalized voiceover message or a personalized Loom video. Personally, I like voice messages. You sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Smevic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking brawl, come down, Smevic, ask for Danny G. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking legs. I see so many guys that'll make custom loom videos or send voice messages cold. Quick question for you. Would you be opposed to hearing about some new ways of getting clients for your business? Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna pitch anything right now without your permission. As soon as I get a response from them and I know that they're paying attention to me, I'll shoot them over a 60 second voice message that just goes along the lines of like, hey Bob, how's it going? I noticed that you put out a job post for your Play-Doh offer. Um, your price point's $5,000. I looked at your website, I looked at your company. You guys look like a really cool group of people. One of the reasons I think I fit into your guys' culture is because I'm addicted to Play-Doh. I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I own a few tubs of it right now, and I'd love the opportunity to speak with you over the phone for a quick interview. And then boom, 
you're done. You already know he's gonna listen to that voice message because he responded to you in the first place. And when he does listen to that voice message, he's gonna be blown away. I think the one word to use or the one word I can use to like encapsulate or summarize where you're at, what you're looking for is control. Like yeah. you want control over your time a little bit more. You want control over your location, where you're working from, control of your income. The freedom of this seemed very intriguing to me. The third step to make your application stand out is actually in the interview, okay? How are you gonna get hired off the interview is having a clean recording setup. That has to do with the lighting, that has to do with what you're wearing, and most importantly, that has to do with how you sound. Because as a salesperson, you're gonna be talking with a lot of people, whether that's your voice messages or you're actually on a Zoom call with someone. And if they can't hear you, if the audio is muffled, you're pretty much instantly disqualified from that position. And so what I would recommend is right away, pick up a Yeti microphone for like 50 bucks if you don't already have it. I have this Shure M7 microphone. It goes for maybe $300 with a, with a nice boom crane there. And that's a really nice setup. It looks super, super professional. Remote closing is sales. And Mark Cuban began his career as a salesperson. He developed his ability to sell and negotiate and that effectively helped him create this business broadcast.com, which he later sold to Yahoo for billions and billions of dollars. But if the idea of creating a billion dollar company and selling that scares you, well, it probably should. If you're a complete beginner noob straight out of the womb and just want to make, you know, good money without doing a fucking drop shipping store. You hear that, guys? That sounds like drop shipping to me. Like anything, you're compensated based on the value you give a company. So I want to distinguish between what a remote closer is versus an appointment setter. A remote closer is a more experience level role, whereas an appointment setter is an entry level role. People will start in an appointment setter role, observe the fucking kick-ass dudes over here, and then transition to this role over time. Okay, so the investment's a one-time investment, meaning we're never gonna ask you for more money. We're never gonna come in and like take a cut of your commissions. One time. Okay. And that is paid all up front, or how does that work? How does the payment work? Yeah, it kind of depends. Most people just put it on like a credit card and we get them off and roll. You can join this industry as an appointment setter or a closer. You just have to ask yourself, how much experience do I actually have and how confident am I in my ability? I've heard people say like, oh no, I don't want to start as a f***ing appointment setter. I want to close deals. No. And I'm like, well, Hold your horses, Master Chief, okay? Let's just let's just talk about like what you can actually get as an appointment setter. Industry standard for a setter is 3% of the overall sale, whereas industry standard for a closer is 10% of the overall sale. Remote closers make good money. I've heard closers make 30, even 40, 50,000 dollars a month. Those are not beginners though that are making that money. So if you're just coming off of like a real estate job or maybe a car salesman, you can definitely hop into a role as a remote closer. Because as you know, selling a $5,000 product versus a $50,000 product is like the same conversation that you're having. So whether that's a car or an online program, you're just dealing with people, you're dealing with emotions, it's the same flow. So that should be fine for you. Once you find your lane, you gotta find the business that you're gonna do sales for. Oh, holy sh so start networking in Facebook groups, search high ticket in Facebook, go to a hiring site like Workable or a hiring site like Indeed or a hiring site like Upwork. All of these businesses are looking for appointment setters and closers and you've just got to align yourself to one that fits your overall like energy and vibe and just like what you like to focus your life on. You doing those three things and messaging and contacting like a hundred different business owners you're gonna get offers made on the table to hire you. As long as you're not like a complete social outcast that's just like, doesn't know how to talk to people whatsoever. Just the disclaimer, when you are applying for these jobs, you wanna find a business that aligns with your purpose and your mission and your vision in life. You're gonna have the option to work with cooking businesses, high performing businesses, film and video businesses, women empowerment businesses. Guys, I guarantee you there is no shortage of businesses on the planet, they are tons. So you don't wanna find yourself easily accepting an offer that six months down the line, you know, you're gonna have fat stacks of cash, but you're absolutely miserable. That is not the route you wanna go. So dude, let's do it. I'm gonna take care of you. You're literally gonna have my personal cell phone. I'm gonna make sure you're successful. Let's take the first step, put the thousand dollars down. I'll start getting you added into everything and then I'll help you game plan how to get the rest. Okay, could we go through the contract? Yeah, for sure. It's gonna take me a minute to draw it up. Yeah, but 
let me ask you this like 100 percent, everything looks good in the contract there's no weirdness in there like we're gonna do it yes yes i need i need to change my lifestyle i need it i need to change my financial lifestyle um there is no two ways about it like the video 